D'Angelo hit the big shots, but it seems like Burks was a big factor if you look at the, uh, if you look at the stat sheet. Yeah, it's one of the reasons we like bringing him off the bench, uh, because he gives us that burst. And, you know, we got off to a great start at, at a really good first quarter. And then, as always, you know, 48 minute game, the game goes on forever. And, Everyone makes a run, all that stuff. Um, so you need somebody off the bench who can come in and give you a boost. And I thought he did a good job of that tonight. Steve, you had a, a, a challenge that wasn't overturned in the last minute of the game on Draymond foul. Um, and obviously, the challenge is still a new concept. In those situations, do you just have to kind of look at the look at Draymond in the eye and say, "Did you foul him?" Or is that something that you see all on your own? Or is it him approaching you saying, "Hey, I, I know I didn't foul him." We should challenge this, especially when we only have one timeout left in the game. Yeah, I think we're we're learning as we go. You know, we uh, I think the biggest thing is um, you have to 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 use them in circumstances that are important. I haven't always done it this year. You know, sometimes I've used it too quickly. Um, but you know, that could mean if your star player has four fouls and he picks up a fifth, um, and you don't think he, he committed one, maybe you keep him out of foul trouble or. Something like this late in the game, where there's a, you know a close play, and your, your, your player's telling you you didn't commit a foul. And, uh, but the thing I've learned is that uh, no matter what happens, uh, no matter what you see on the replay, no matter what you think, um, it's still even with replay, um, it's not 100%. It never is, uh, which is why I don't like replay. You know, we always say we got to get it right, but uh, I might think something's a foul and you don't, and we can watch the tape over and over again, and we're not changing our opinions. Doesn't mean either one of us is right. You know, it's uh, the only the only sport that I love replaying is tennis. Balls either in or out. It's pretty simple. Everything else is uh, too subjective. How much does it help to have that timeout? 